way that I got the role of Barry on the show, I was in my kitchen one day cooking and Tyler Perry uh, called me. I will say I did get a heads up because somebody that I worked with on another show, he texted me and said, hey, I'm working with this director who wants your information. Is it okay if I give it to him? And I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, but literally five minutes later, like I said, I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking chicken. I look at my phone and there's a, a, a 404 number and it says Atlanta. And I'm like, no way. There's no way that this is this man calling me already. I answer the phone and I'm like, uh, hello? He said, uh, hello, is this Vaughn Hepburn? And I know what Tyler sounds like. I know what Tyler, so I knew it, knew it was him immediately. He said, how you doing Vaughn Hepburn? This is Tyler Perry, all right. Uh, this is a good time to talk for you. And I said, yes, sir, I, I'm, I'm cooking. I'm stuttering, of course. I'm cooking, but you know, I can talk. He said, well, why don't you put that down? Usually people, you know, put down what they're doing to talk to me, so you should put that down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we talked for like an hour the very first time, and he, uh, he, of course, he was so casual, and I'm in the kitchen sweating bullets. After telling me about it a little bit, I got a chance to go in an audition, and um, that's how I put the role. Barry is the son of the head butler in the house. Um, he's the only son of the head butler in the house, so he's been a little uh, spoiled his life. And then one day, he goes to help his father out in the White House when this new president and his family move in, and that very first day, he gets accused of rape by the first daughter. So that leads to a whirlwind of events that happen in the White House. And then when he gets out of that, he has to uh, find his daughter who was kidnapped by his crazy baby mother who was a part of a cult. So the whole season for Barry is basically trying to find his daughter, trying to stay out of trouble, which he fails miserably at, and uh, just get back to a normal life. So filming at Tyler Perry Studio, the first year, the first season, it was just a surreal experience. Being there, I had to kind of pinch myself every day that I'm actually here, that I'm actually getting a chance to experience all these stages and every, like he literally has everything that a movie or a television show needs um, to film and it's all hits and it is all right there. You don't have to travel anywhere. If you, if you want to shoot a very country or or a rural movie, he has 300 acres of just field. If you're trying to do something in the city, he has like a mini city with stores and shops and everything that you could possibly need. And Tyler was there every day. He directed every single scene. Um, he directed every single actor. He was hands-on with everything. So if we were there from eight in the morning until 12 at night, he was there from eight in the morning until 12 at night. So it was just, it was a dream come true. It was just a great experience. It was, it was everything somebody could like hope for. So we actually went to Atlanta in March to film the second season. And that's right when the pandemic hit the US like that. And so it was literally four days before we were supposed to start filming that they said we're gonna give it a two week break to see how this thing goes. And then two weeks obviously turned into six months because we actually didn't film it until August. Filming the second season of the show was during the quarantine and the pandemic and being on set. And um, when I first got there, it felt like I was walking into Area 51, honestly. Everybody was in hazmat suits. There was dogs sniffing and uh, the, the medical people taking our tests. Uh, but it was just, it was like being in a big adult camp honestly, because it, it was just, there was stuff to do, there was activities, you know, there was food trucks, there was drink trucks. You know, when we was actually in the scene, of course, everything was everything was normal. But as soon as he said cut, mask or shields went back on, people had to like try to stay away from each other as much as possible. There wasn't as many crew um, in the actual set locations just to try to minimize the amount of people that's in one space. What I think is resonating with the fans about the show is that um, is the drama, of course. It's the drama, it is the the surprises. Every single episode, there's something that nobody seems to see coming. And Tyler is very good at just throwing surprises and throwing fans for a loop and just throwing the, 
throwing the actors for a loop as well because sometimes he changes things while we're on set and while we're in the scenes. He changes dialogue and we'll be like, well, the script says this or that. He'll be like, nah, we're gonna change that. And so that's news to us too. So it throws us for a loop. So I think that's the most engaging or like uh, enticing part of the show because you just never know what's gonna happen. I didn't think this was a family show, but whole families watch this show. They're yelling at us, they're crying with us, they're cheering us on, they're, they're criticizing us. You know, they're very engaged with what the actors and what the characters are doing. So I think that's a very, um, that's what makes it so engaging for people to get involved in it and actually want to watch it. And that's why they can't wait to see what happens next. As far as when Barry will find his daughter, I will say that he gets very, he's on a roll in the second season. He's getting very, very close. I'm not gonna say if he finds her or not, but I'm telling you right now, his journey, it gets a little, it gets a little dangerous for Barry. Barry, uh, he, he, he's treading on some dark waters here uh, on this journey to find his daughter. So it, it gets a little thrilling and exciting and dangerous for him. Usually Tyler shoots a scene within one or two takes. We shot that scene in about four takes, four or five takes, because every time I ran over there, there was other people that needed to get out the way for me to get Ruth. And then when I had to drag her to the car, me and Melissa Williams did that differently um, each time as well. Sometimes I was literally dragging her. Then sometimes Tyler would have me, as they kept in the in the show as well, he had me interacting with the background, telling them to stay away or or shut up or whatever have you. Um, so that, that day was very exhausting because each time I had to run, there was one time I had to jump over like the hood of a car to get over to them. And uh, it was just a lot of running, it was a lot of activity. And of course, when I actually got to her, the, it was a lot of energy and a lot of high space going on. Directly after, uh, Barry's taking her to the police station and literally the first scene of the second season is Barry at the police station with her. One of my favorite moments is when Barry first finds out that he his daughter was kidnapped and he immediately runs to his cousin to try to get them help the, the help from them and try to figure out where, um, where Ruth may be keeping his daughter at. And I really like that that scene because it just shows, it, it, it tells a lot about Barry. You know, it tells a lot about this very young man who's still within his early 20s. And it, it, it shows his character and how much, how important fatherhood, fatherhood is to him. Um, because he immediately hears the problem and he goes to try to solve it. I am, uh, capable of having a temper. <laughs> I am capable of having a temper and I've been very keen to watch that or to make sure that that's under control going forward because, uh, you know, Barry is a very volatile and I wouldn't say he's an angry young man, but in the, under these circumstances, he's very angry. And so I had to be like that all the time. The Halson family, the way y'all see us on screen is how we really are in real life, literally. Like, me and Tosha Story are always either debating or we're teaming up against Javon Johnson, who plays my father. So Tosha plays my mother, Javon plays my father. And so we literally have a family dynamic in real life that is almost identical to how we are on the screen just obviously not as severe, you know, circumstances. But we are literally just like a family. We're always either debating, joking, hanging out, just being like a family. And and sometimes Tisha's in there too, because she plays my girlfriend. But we literally act like a family 24 seven. And I, I just think it goes to Tyler for having that vision because it's kind of scary. Like literally they'll say where the Halston's at when we're not even at the daggone studio. I think it's special because we just, we, we're at like a family all the time.